Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trace your Ansible playbooks using OpenTelemetry and then push those traces into Dynatrace. So let's get started. As always, I'm going to give you the high level overview and then we'll actually get in to the uh, details and, and trace a, an Ansible playbook. So this is what the result will look like in this demo. We're just going to do something very simple. We're going to ping our local host machine, uh, but the, the trace should end up in Dynatrace and it should look something like this. So to give you a high level overview of the architecture, what, what the system looks like on the right hand side, we've got the Dynatrace tenant. If you don't have a Dynatrace tenant, go to dynatrace.com forward slash trial and sign up for a trial account. In the middle there, we have the open telemetry collector. As always, it's a standard component, uh, open source component that you'll need as a kind of middleware layer. And then on the left-hand side is our Ansible playbook. And notice the the, the block inside the playbook there, which is the, uh, the bit that does the magic. It's the open telemetry callback plugin. So let's build this system from right to left. So I'm assuming you've got a Dynatrace tenant and uh, go into the Dynatrace tenant and you'll need an API token. The API token needs to have open telemetry ingest permissions. So go ahead and create an open telemetry ingest token for Dynatrace now. Next, we'll move to the middle layer, which is the open telemetry collector. If you don't have a collector, Go download the binary from the OpenTelemetry project, um, and then I'm going to show you the configuration file. You can see we've got a receiver. Uh, that, that's, that's the thing that's going to receive the traces from the Ansible callback plugin. Then we've got exporters, and as you can tell there, I'm pointing it to my Dynatrace tenant. Of course, you change those to your details. And then where I've got a sample secret, that would be where your actual API token, you need to modify this file. And then at the very bottom there, we see the traces pipeline and we're saying export to the OTLP HTTP, which of course means we're getting the traces from Ansible and we're pushing them into your Dynatrace tenant. So now we've got the middleware layer set up. We've got the collector configured and I'm running my collector now. How do we configure the Ansible playbook to actually generate these spans and push them. So go to the uh, Ansible documentation and you'll first need Python. So if you don't have Python installed, go ahead and install Python. And then looking at the requirements, you'll see we need some packages, the OpenTelemetry API, the OpenTelemetry exporter OTLP library, and the OpenTelemetry SDK. So once you've got Python installed with all the libraries you're going to need, you can go ahead and run the command given on screen there, Ansible Galaxy Collection install community.general. Now, it's important to point out this isn't a Dynatrace supported plugin. You can't raise a support ticket for this. Obviously, the Ansible community has created this plugin. Um, so if you need support or help configuring this, please reach out to the Ansible community first. So by running that, I've obviously already got it installed. It's saying nothing to do. Everything's already installed. So it looks like we are good to go. Next, we need to enable that plugin. You do so by creating uh, an ansible.cfg config file that can live in your local folder or it can live uh, under etc ansible to be uh, global. And if you do that, what that means is that any playbook will automatically get instrumented for open telemetry. In my case, I'm just running this locally within that folder. So I'm gonna show you that now. And you can see I've just enabled the callback. Next, I need a hosts file. I'm only using one host, my local host, and I'm just setting the connection to local because I'm actually just gonna, in this playbook, I'm gonna ping local host. I don't wanna SSH into my local machine. I just want to uh, be able to ping. And so that's that's why Ansible connection is, is set to local. Next, of course, we need a playbook and there is absolutely nothing that you need to change about your playbooks. You can see this is a really standard playbook. I'm targeting local host and I'm just pinging local host. So far, so good, but how do we tie that together? How do we actually tell Ansible where to send the traces? Because right now we've got the collector running, the collector knows where Dynatrace is, but Ansible doesn't know where the collector is. We can do that just by setting some environment variables. Now to make it easier for myself, I've just wrapped this into a shell script. So I'll show you that now. I'm setting two environment variables, the uh, exporter OTLP endpoint, which is, of course, the address of my collector. Again, my collector is running on localhost and the uh, open telemetry service name. I've decided to call that Ansible. 
And then I'm simply just running the playbook as I normally would. There is nothing special there. And then as soon as the playbook's done, we exit the shell script. So let's see this in action. I'm going to run my uh, shell script. So the playbook has has executed. It's gathered some facts about localhost. It's pinged localhost. Let's first of all check that the trace got to the collector, which we can see some output in the collector logs. So that looks good. We know that the trace has gone from Ansible into the collector. So let's jump into Dynatrace and see what this looks like. So if we go into the distributed traces screen in Dynatrace, we can see a trace called playbook.yaml. Uh, and we can see what happened inside there. So we first gather the facts about localhost. That took almost 13 seconds. And then we ping localhost as we ask the playbook to do. So that's it. Open telemetry can trace Ansible playbooks. And then you can use the open telemetry collector to send those traces into Dynatrace. So you have complete observability of your Ansible playbook executions. As always, if you need a Dynatrace trial, dynatrace.com forward slash trial. Uh, if you want to discuss this uh, or, or need help with this on the Dynatrace side, community.dynatrace.com. Uh, all of your peers are there discussing Dynatrace and how to make things like Ansible observable. So head across there for some assistance. I hope you found this useful and uh, I'll see you again soon for another how-to video. Bye.